All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Fallout London, where today we are right we left off in the last episode, hiding behind this Docklands Light Railway bunker entrance here, as we are about to head into a syndicate storehouse to break in and destroy the place, and hopefully also steal some weaponry from them because, well, again, Gaunt was being real dumb about that and only wanting to burn it down. We need weapons too, so we're definitely going to help grab whatever we need there. I'm a little bit worried about how things are gonna go because, well, we've started to face some more tough syndicate members as we've been moving north. So I'm a little worried who's gonna be inside this place, but, um, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Weapon-wise, oh boy, what are we, we're currently using the sword. Molotovs will still be pretty good. I kinda wanna switch to this for that extra radiation damage, but I just still don't trust its accuracy. <laughs> the shotgun, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be slow, but that might not be bad with the 40 damage if I get up like real close and personal to them. Or we could play with the... Ah, oh, that's only 13, though, and we only got 62 45 rounds. Yeah, we'll go with the shotgun. We'll play around with that. We haven't really used that yet. In fact, I don't even have it saved as a favorite. Well, we should change that, and at some point, I should actually modify that thing to be a little bit better. Hmm. In fact... In fact, I think after last episode with the more trouble we were having with enemies, I think in the perks, I may need to start putting some points into Gun Nut. Like the next two levels get two points into Gun Nut, perhaps. And with that, I should be able to upgrade a lot of my weaponry to uh, deal better damage. Especially my main pistols down here. Both of these have some all right upgrades once you reach uh, le level two of Gun Nut. That should really help up their damage quite a bit. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. Before we do head in, though, I want to thank a couple of viewers. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting your name right now, but you know who you are from two episodes ago. Uh, about the Trowned Rifle. I had forgotten to look it up after the episode we got it in, and uh, you guys in the comments gave me some good suggestions on where to look, and whoops, I dropped it. That's not what I meant to do. But... <laughs> Uh, but I did finally go and look it up thanks to your guys' suggestions. And this thing, well, first off, is real. The Trowned is actually a triangular round. The bullet itself is still round generally, but the, the casing, the cartridge, is triangular. <laughs> and uh, it was actually meant for a pistol. And in fact, this is a pistol that IRL this, with this real gun you take off the pistol barrel and then slide it into this thing to turn it into a carbine. So next time we actually find a weapon workbench, I do actually want to look to see if we can take the carbine barrel off and make it back into a pistol, but that's kind of nifty. When I saw this in, uh, in some pictures in real life, it was pretty neat that, yeah, you just take off the pistol barrel and pop it into this thing, which is why it has this big up bump here. <laughs> <laughs> that it turns into a carbine. That's that's neat. I, I very much like that. So yeah, next time we find a weapon workbench, I'm gonna go take a look at that to see if we can turn it back into a pistol just out of curiosity. And also see if we can find some more 38 trounds somewhere. Hmm. We can. That might be another good gun that we might be able to up some damage for. But oh well, that's for later. Let us ha boy. Go in. Which you know what? You know what? We're still hooked after the one cigarette we had, so. Oh, hey, we got a wild, oh, we can actually get cards from that. Nifty. Wild animal number 43. The duckbill or platypus. Neat. But all right, that should take away our, uh, our withdrawal symptoms. And let's head on up here to battle, because I definitely don't want those negative two to endurance right now. Hopefully when we get back to base, we can get rid of that endurance penalty. Oh boy, oh. Kino World Cinema. Oh my God, look at the posters. 005. <laughs> EMP fall. Neutron ball. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that word because of YouTube. <laughs> Red finger. <laughs> oh my God, that's wonderful. 
Oh, uh, quick though, before we go inside, what the hell is this over here? It looks like there's like a small fortification. Oh, uh, looks like someone's got a little base. Probably hooligans, but it could also be a syndicate. Oh, I do actually see someone. Let's see if we can get a just a look at him. Hooligans. Neat. Alright, well, that's for another day. Let's go do this. Uh, let's top off our health, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> sure, have the brain fungus. And a carrot. Lovely. Alright, and in we go. Oh, yes, and use this thing before we go in, because we have the card. There we are. And now into the Kino World Cinema. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, how many enemies will be here? And how many will I have to murder? And how many may murder me? We could have another death today, possibly. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we've we've done a lot more in this series than in many of my other series in the past. Burn the warehouse. I'm gonna turn this off. Come here, you donut. Oh, yep, we got people. Oh, who are they shooting? Why'd you skedaddle off? Okay, uh, well, I hear them over on that side. Let's throw some grenades over. <laughs> yeah, some cricket ball grenades. Prick. Uh, someone's having a bubble here. Okay, oh, hi, he's right there. <laughs> Go back to the Molotovs. Oh, I... Die, syndicate dog. So he's a little tougher than a pup. Of course, I mean, he's a dog. All right, reload, reload, reload. Oh my god, there's so many out there. Oh, have that. Okay, yeah, there's a lot behind that over there. All right. Oh boy. Oh, I keep getting myself inside of a cage. It's probably a really bad idea to be inside. Okay, okay. All right, there's only four left. Hey, could you guys come back around, please? I need to go through that door. The Molotov's not gonna be too great right there. You know what, you know what, okay, okay. You know what, go to a grenade. They're a bit further down that way. Normal grenade. Yeah. Oh, through there. Aha! Oh God, I am also nearly dead. I have not been paying attention to my health. Oh, and like I was saying before being interrupted by the enemy, <laughs> we've been dying a lot more in this series than previous other ones because, yeah, I'm just, we're, we're back to being low level, man. I'm just not used to being low level. I'm used to having all my cool gear. Oh, we lost two. We got two of them with that. Sweet. All right, yeah, this 32 really doesn't do a lot of damage. I definitely need to upgrade this thing. But there's only two of them left. All right. Oh, well, they're coming around. They're coming around. They have a shotgun too. Okay, it's gonna be shotgun on shotgun violence. Uh, actually, you know what? Since they're back, I'm searching through Abe looking for a weapon. Since they're actually back over here, maybe I should get back to the sword. Hmm. Go. Die, syndicate dog. Yes. I'm still behind this door a little bit, which is good. It's protecting me. All right, they're down, they're down. One more left. Right there. Go, 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 go. Oh, I only have one. Okay. Yeah. We yeah. did it. Beautiful. Did my cigarette already gave out on me? <laughs> All right, time to loot the bodies. It's normal 32 pistol. Boiled sweets, 32. Nothing else of value there. Some shotgun shells. Some more spotted dick. Eh, I don't need a used oil can. Alright, alright. We got ourselves some things. And killed some enemies. Nice. Okay, well let's start looting the place before we do anything. Oh, Nuka Cola. Ooh, more boiled sweets. <laughs> Anything else down here? No, it doesn't look at oh, some squirrel bits. All right, I'll take it. I'll take some squirrel bits. 
Anything in the little cubby holes here? Does not appear to be the case. Okay, okay. Well. I hear something scratching. Eh, I really like the names of all those 005 movies. <laughs> They're pretty good. Oh, traders welcome guns for sale. You know, you guys weren't very welcoming. I mean, granted, I did throw grenades first, but, you know, you're also syndicate. They would have shot at me anyways. Half pint glass. What's that? Kino World ticket. What does that do? Is it a miscellaneous item or a junk item? Junk, apparently. Oh, uh, was it miscellaneous? Did I just walk, go right by it? I went right by it. Oh, miscellaneous and has zero value. Ew. Drop. <laughs> More Kino World tickets all scattered around. Of course, that makes sense. A book. Lovely. What do we got over here? I will take... No, no, no. There we go. Pre-war money and shotgun shells. More tickets. They have zero value, which is unfortunate. More tickets. More tickets. Hello, terminal. Ooh, what do you have? Ticket sales and resignation. <laughs> All right, ticket sales from 10, oh, whoa, October 22nd, huh? The Atoms, not enough. The Man with the Gamma Gun, from China with love. Radiation is forever, Mr. Yes. <laughs> Looks like Mr. Yes was the most popular, with a close second being radiation is forever. <laughs> That's good. And resignation.txt. It's a damn shame what ha what's happened to cinemas in Britain. It's been on a steady decline for decades, and it's only getting worse. I took this job because I love cinema, not because I wanted to participate in its downfall. The big studios are to blame, of course. They're always churning out the same cookie-cutter blockbuster films, and the British public just eat them up. They don't care about quality or originality anymore. They just want to see the latest explosion fest. Unfortunately true. And what do we do when there's a dry spout of these films? We resort to gimmicks such as 005 Week, exclusively screening a century-old film series the entire week to cash in on nostalgia. I mean, I actually really like when theaters do old film nights, and I especially love when you find, like, small, like, local cinemas that only do old films, because, it, yeah, it's great seeing those. I wasn't born when a lot of old films that I love were out in theater, so it's nice to see them in theater, frankly. I, I quite like that. I get where he's coming from, but I quite like that. <laughs> Kino, my arse! This is the last straw. It's a sad state of affairs, and it's a bit, and it doesn't look like things are going to get any better anytime soon. So I quit. You will already know this by the time you read this, but I won't be coming in to work tomorrow. Up yours, Dirk. All right. I mean, again, I get where he's coming from, but I actually quite like old film nights and such at theaters. It's fun. Because, yeah, there's so many old films that I absolutely love that I would like to see in theaters on the big screen. But, you know, hard to find. And yeah, I, always, I, I always absolutely love small town, like, local theaters that do stuff like that. Oh, it's always great. What do we got back here? Some razor grain. A fireplace scoop? Was that your was that your weapon? No, it was just a junk item. You had a fireplace scoop as a junk item. Nifty. <laughs> Hello, you crude revolver. Undamaged UK flag. My God. <laughs> What's over here? Choir's key. Ah, crap. I haven't found a key on any of these people. We definitely looked through all their inventories. I call the gun cases. I also looked through all the stuff over that way. Oh, God. So there could be... Oh, God. Okay. We got to look around for a key. <laughs> got a leather bag. Moisturizer. Hello? Oh god, it could be on a seat, couldn't it? 
Ooh, round roaches. Hello. I need you to die. There we go. Neither of them had a key either. Okay, okay, we got all the seating. Aw, oh, I'm gonna be so sad that we're about to blow up a cinema. It's actually a pretty well-preserved cinema too. It looks like the projector even still works. You just need to clean up that screen. Aw, oh, man. Why they have to put their weapon warehouse in a cinema? I'm not seeing a key. Uh, no. Two more rows. Recommendations. Cast 1969, get Carter 1970. Okay, it's just a list of films. Okay. <laughs> Uh, nice. No, nothing here either. Oh, tickets, sadly. Oh, no, actually, there's more rows. They're just all in the back, crammed up here. We also did pass by a weapon workbench out there. We'll go take a look at it in a moment, because we were talking about the Tround earlier, and I want to take a uh, gander at that. But sadly, no keys. Can we get into the projector booth some? Oh, that's... That's probably the door. That that employee's only door is probably to get into those. Oh, I can't use this. Aw, oh, man! I can use the ammunition crafting... Wait, do we have an ammunition crafting workbench? Holy crap. We have bows! <gasps> I mean, probably if you join the Camelot people. Oh my god. I need to get rank one in gun nut. Well, I did already say that I was going to do exactly that. And then I will go back to Nadia's and buy up the junk that I require. I need lead and fertilizer. <laughs> oh, you can get some more trowns in here? Oh, sweet. Oh my god, I love that we have an ammunition bench. Oh, beautiful. Shape charge? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Other ammos, cryo cell, flame refuel, gamma rounds. No, I'm, I'm actually kind of interested by these. Yeah, we may need to go check out the Camelot people at some point. I got a long sword, they'll love me. <laughs> but I bet you they're gonna be the ones with the bows, probably. But man, I can use this, but not this. Oh, dang it. All right. Well, that's where we gotta go over there. Let's continue looking around here. Man, because I want to find that freaking key. Granted, we also have a waypoint there. Yeah, hold on, Mono. What's in the pit boy? <laughs> what is our actual mission right now? Uh, burn the warehouse and let the vagabonds in. I'm assuming since that looks to be inside of another theater, that's probably burn the warehouse. I mean, I'm gonna take it because it's gonna sell for more. But I'm never going to use it. We're never going to find that key, are we? Tibia. Ooh, ooh. Train map. Nothing here. Yeah, it looks like a door to the outside world, I'm assuming. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, so that's definitely got to be the let the vagabonds in. I mean, okay. Let them in. Welcome to the party, fellas. I mean, are you... Are they actually coming? Oh, there they are. Hey. Oh, my God. Look at that gun. Oh, <laughs> balls. All right. Cigar box. Ooh, what do we got here? Then your mom teach you back. Touch me again, and there'll be consequences. I will kill you, and I kind of want to take your weapon. All right. So you guys are taking stuff from here, too. Fair enough, but... I'm gonna take my 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 supply. There we go. All right, so they're they're out. They got whatever they needed, and they're out. Okay, got it. Oh, never mind. Some of them are still around. Oh well, bathrooms. Check these. Ooh, what do you got? Oh, camera. Oh, I need a key. I need a key. What do we got here? Plunger. Nothing. Oh, oh, looks like they're all left now. Or are leaving. Nice. Good work, scouts. Nothing. 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 
Yeah, it was nothing. I, th I saw that little black spot on the floor, but it didn't seem to be anything. So we're not going to find a key, are we? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I mean, I could spend all day probably looking through here, and I probably won't find it. Dang it. Well, I mean, we haven't checked the room where we've got to go into yet, so let's do that. Okay, can't go that way. What's over here? Ah, storage. I mean, still nothing there. Nothing there. I'm sad that it was not on any of the enemies we killed because you think it would have been. But, oh well, I mean, it still could be somewhere in here. All right, so we gotta place that explosive we were given over there. Bayoneted heavy crude shotgun. I'll take it to sell. Or take apart, one of the two. Yeah, no, we're not gonna find it, are we? Oh, <laughs> uh, we're not gonna get into there. Ah, I can't squeeze through there. Ah oh, man. I really wanted to get up in there because I bet you that's, that's what gets you up into the projector rooms. And we're about to blow this place to hell. So it's not gonna exist soon. So I doubt we'd ever be able to come back. Oh. Wow, so they just got like a crap load of fuel in here and that's what we're gonna explode, huh? Nice. <laughs> okay, I just wanna quickly, I just wanna quickly go back out here. It's gotta be somewhere, right? And it wasn't any of those guys. I mean, granted, with my luck, I have walked right by it and didn't notice it. No, it's not on any of those official things. We're not gonna find it, are we? Dang it. <laughs> I really want it. I really want it. Oh, there's probably something good up there. You know, with my luck, those grenades I chucked at the very beginning blew them into the ether. With my luck, that's what happened. With my luck, that's what happened. Yeah, nothing here. You'd think it might be over here, but on the table. Dang it. So yeah, that might be why all these tickets are scattered around in that vase. Our explosion might have done it. And I don't, I don't see anything key-esque in the mess. <laughs> I bet that's what it was. Oh, I just, pa oh, no, never mind. It was a ticket. I was about to say, I just passed by something that we could interact with. No, there's another ticket. All right, let's just go blow this place up. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. Oh, dang it. All right, return to Anthony. Okay. Who's there? Whoa! Never mind. I'm using the back door. I don't feel like dealing with you guys. I'm out. That's a bomb in there. <laughs> I don't want to take time. I don't know if it's timed or not. Yeah. Never mind. Let's let's not deal with those four or five that popped up. Hey, and let's see what happens. I'm assuming we're gonna get to see the explosion, which would be fun. And if so, I'm gonna try to go back in the building because I'll be intrigued to see if we can. Um, but then after that, head back to Anthony and that'll probably it for the episode. Granted, we're only at 25 minutes. Okay, maybe we'll spend a little bit more time down downtown here. <laughs> why why don't I call it downtown? We're not really downtown now, are we? We're over in like the Canary Wharf area. Uh, granted, we're more on the mainland now. Are we still in Canary Wharf here? I don't know. Oh. Yep, explosions. Anyone coming up from there, that door? Oh. Poor cinema. 
Oh man. Well, let's see if we can go back inside. Inaccessible. Yep, I kind of figured. All right, well, we got two hooligan bases I kind of want to take while we're here. I mean, we're at 25 minutes. We might as well do something more over here. Yeah, it would be nice to get a few more. Yeah, I guess we're kind of still considered a part of Canary Wharf and all that in this area. Maybe? Or does it always start once you're past the canal? I don't know. Oh, well, let's find some hooligans to murder. <laughs> Come back out to this one. Let's go get that hospital waypoint. I'm gonna try the other, the front door. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's inaccessible too. Yeah, inaccessible, yeah. Dang. All right. Hold again. Down, hopefully. Yep, that's a body. Oh, 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 oh. There, down. Nope, oh, more coming, though. More coming. Technically, I'm still cautioned, so they don't know where I am. So if I back off, we can get a hidden again. Maybe. Unless they come up the stairs, then we're definitely going to have to fight. <laughs> They're coming up the stairs? I mean, they're at the, like, bottom of the stairs. Hmm. Oh, a third one's coming. A third one's coming. What grenades do I have right now? Did I switch back to the Molotovs? I think I switched back to the Molotovs. I did not. Nope, never mind. They left. <laughs> All right, go back to this. Noise. Granted, I should probably wait. The, that one last one that came towards the steps is probably still there. Need for them to turn around. All right, there's those two. What? There you are, you oh, that's a legendary hooligan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, balls. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, You know, considering he's on his own... Actually, I kind of want to play with this to see how it is. Oh, fire rate of three. Now it's going to be like a bolt action, one shot reload. I mean, he's coming at us, sword. Yeah. Hello, you. Miss me. Oh, there we go. Oh, your friends came around. Crap. Yeah. Oh, balls. Oh, he is tearing me up with whatever gun he has. Oh, no. Okay, Stim, Stim, use one of our... Also, we need to take one of you. Oh, hey, cool. Another wild card for a bison. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> the European bison. Okay, okay. Stim pack. Uh, boy, all the way down there, huh? So, panicking. All right, yeah, that only does that much. Oh. Okay, we need to go. Oh, you're at the zero still. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah. He used a stim. Which we're going to have to as well. Should have probably waited until the other guys left a bit quicker. Okay. All right, one of them's down. One of them's down. I'm going to need to take some squirrels too. Actually, I don't want to waste that right now. Score on a stick, yeah. Yeah, die, legendary hooligan. Oh god, oh god, more, more, more squirrel on a stick. There we go. He died. Yes. What did he have? He had a vintage rifle. Ooh. Oh, another really slow loading one, but powerful though. And I bet you, well, it won't do as much as the musket, but it looks like it'll. At least be more accurate, I would assume. I mean, again, I'm going to take because of the higher cell value. All right, all right, all right. He needs to come up the steps to me. Come on, friend. Come and play. Come and play. 
Oh, he's all the way down there now. Okay, okay, that's unfortunate. I need him to come to me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. He's not. He's not coming to me. How dare you? Oh, sweet Jeebus. All right, did it. <laughs> oh, did I just pick up an extra pair of welding goggles that I didn't mean to? I think I did. Yep, there we go. All right, I mean... Okay, that's gunfire somewhere else. That's not my problem. Except I can hear them, and now I see them. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Back to the, uh, you. Anyway, can I get more angle? He I'm detected. Oh, you're a vagabond. Oh, I was about to murder you. <laughs> okay, I do remember that there's a, a gun up there, a, um, a turret. Probably should have shot it when we were in a better angle for it because it's like up there, up there. That's dead hooligan. We're hidden now. Okay. Oh, hey, and we'll get this uh, hospital slash clinic. Ah, children's hospital. All right, I think the turret was like all the way up there, so I actually think we're safe. Oh, never mind. There it is. But it doesn't point this way. Nifty. Got back a stim pack. That's nice. And even though I'd like to go in, into the hospital right now, let's avoid that for the time being. Grab our loot. Military cooler. Woo. Like that. It looks like we'd have to go inside to get up. I'm not seeing any other stairs or anything up to the um, the top a bit. Fair enough. All right. Well, I'm good. Let's actually, uh, yeah, there we go. Quick save. Oh, that place is still on fire. Neat. And let's go back to Swan Miter and finish up our quest. <laughs> that battle went a bit harder than I thought it would and um, went a bit longer there. All right. Oh, you know what? I was mentioning about the the ammunition bench earlier and how I should get the gun nut and then go get, get a load of stuff. That's the first ammunition bench we've seen. <laughs> and now it's not available to us anymore. It's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> That's unfortunate. But okay, let's head back to the Swan and Miter. And when we're inside, you guys had mentioned in the comments, too, that I should talk to Yvette, that she's, she is a doctor, so we should be able to get healed up from her. And get our addiction gone. I think someone mentioned, which I'd rather you not in the future, but someone said that they that she can repair my, my issues from the beginning of the game. I, I would prefer if you don't spoil things for me, guys. If it's a hint of something helpful, please, please do. Um... Like, telling me that she is a doctor that can heal me and I have an addiction. That, that, yeah, cool, but... <laughs> that other part's kind of a main part of the storyline. I'd rather not get spoiled on that stuff. Alright, in we go. Into another loading screen. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? And while we're in the loading screen, hopefully the audio is a bit, little bit better than yesterday's. Since yesterday was the first recording with our new microphone... I added an additional pop filter onto this thing, so hopefully the peas aren't as punchy as they were last time. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it all goes from here. So far, I'm liking the microphone. This is only the fourth thing I've done with it after two videos yesterday in my uh, Bannerlord stream. And that uh, yesterday night. So yeah, this is video number three, fourth thing overall. I'm happy with it so far. That's good. Plus, I'm most mostly excited. I gotta admit, because it came in a bundle with a new um, microphone arm, 
and my microphone arm I've been meaning to replace for a while because it's kind of old and it doesn't hold its position very well anymore. So, <laughs> while I'm doing videos, sometimes it'll start sliding down <laughs> and I have to kind of like start squishing myself down with it like, oh God, come on. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> hey, Anthony. Well, well, the hero returns. Mm -hmm. The boys came back a while ago. Told me you did a fine job. All right. And they nabbed a good haul, too. Sweet. The old gang's gonna be better equipped now. I owe you a pint for this, mate. Darn right you do. Enough of that. I want a proper debrief. Tell it from the start. Gone. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> okay. I spoke to Valentina, got the Forge access card. Granted, that, I mean, hmm. Didn't really, honestly. I mean, besides getting me into the building, I guess. That's really the only thing it was good for. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I got the forged access card. Oh, how's she holding up? Pretty good. Got a lovely bakery. She said she'd like to see you again. Mentioned getting her hands on your tools. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she is a cheeky one. <laughs> Wasn't she? Oh, well, well, if things settle down a bit, it would be nice to pay her a visit. <laughs> oh, I bet. This is making me fucking sick. <laughs> and oh, you can forget about things settling down. That's the opposite of what's going to happen. I mean, and then but once we beat the syndicate. That, you got into the warehouse then. Mm-hmm. Bypassed the security without much trouble and managed to open the door for the lads. We left before more enforcers came and had to go with what we had. Uh -huh, I mean, that's true. More dogs showed up. We got away. Job sorted. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Very nice. You done well. These supplies are going to make a big difference, believe me. I'm well chuffed. Glad. Listen to you two mugs. Clapping yourselves on the back over nothing. Nothing? We just the better armed. The still stands. But we just a got better armed. A couple of crates of guns won't bother them. Yes, we it will. <laughs> a lot for pittance here. No, we Pathetic. didn't. We... Oh my god, you're a you're a goddamn idiot, Gaunt. You need more guns to do more damage to the enemy. We now have more guns. Perhaps not that much that we need, but we can now do more damage. You are dumb, Gaunt. Well, the warehouse at least no longer stands. The whole place is charcoal now. What, two groups of enforcers on top of you and you just waltz back in all alone to blow things up? Gordon fucking Bennett. That's some moxie you got there, mate. I'll say... Bloody amazing. Yeah, you're still dumb, guy. Well, I'm glad you're on our side. I wouldn't want to go up against someone as fucking mad as that. You're right, you Something wouldn't. Something like this deserves a special reward. Yeah, have this, pal. It's that laser rifle <gasps> I showed you yes! earlier. Yes, laser rifle! I've been tinkering away at it, and she's a right daisy now. Neat. I hope it serves you well. Thank you, Anthony. Right. I like you better than Gaunt. Well, that's a happy ending and a half. Now, what's next? Well, next will be the next mission we have to do, which I'm just gonna back off. Let's take a look at that rifle. Yeah, God is a freaking idiot, man. We need more weapons to do more damage. He's even said that himself. So yeah, us gathering some guns, even if only a small amount, means more damage to the enemy. Ah, there it is. Oh, uh, I was hoping it'd be more unique. No, that's why I was really excited for it. I mean, it's a little bit different than a standard laser rifle from or laser pistol from the uh, main Fallout 4 game, but not by much. No, oh, I was hoping for something more British and unique. I mean, the name's nice and neat. Damage is actually pretty good. Nice, nice. That's that's very nice. But yeah, I was hoping for something a bit more unique. Oh, well, before we move on to the next mission, which we'll do the whole thing, including talking with one of them in the next episode, let's go find Yvette. Oh, there she is. My mother wanted Sweet. me to be a farmer. Yeah, no. I don't care, Yvette. Hi. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, I was in a train crash, and I haven't felt right ever since. Can you help me? Can't say I've treated a survivor of a rail accident before. This'll be interesting. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. That's the one where I get 10% less, or take 10% more damage, right? We definitely need that gone. There. He was suffering from some kind of psychological distress, probably brought on by the crash. That right. remedy should do the trick. Just remember those breathing exercises. Okay. Well, railway spine cured. Sweet. Thanks. Oh, 
I had more to talk to you about. One of my afflictions done. I need medical assistance. Hurt radiation. 150. I mean, we have more than a thousand tickets, but yeah, I need to get rid of this addiction. And then we're selling all of our cigarettes. One of them. One first time got me an addiction. I don't want that. Uh, yeah, cure my addiction, please. You've come to the right place. Thank you, Yvette. I appreciate it. I'm then going to go and check your store, too, to see what you got. Take care. No, please don't walk away. Do damn, you it, damn it, Yvette. There we go. Spare medical Certainly. supplies. Here's what I've got. Thank you. Actually, let's take a look at what she's got first. How much is a stim pack? Ooh, a lot. A lot. That's unfortunate. Yeah, she's got some junk. Mr. Strong. <laughs> Ammo, nine mil rounds. That's actually nice. All right, well, I'm going to sell those guns that I picked up to her because I don't want them, and I'm just going to sell them. Not worth much, but got to get back some of my money. Oh, yeah, that cutlass we've been carrying around that I'll never use. Uh, I'll still keep you for now. Yeah, I still want to turn you into a blunderbuss. Granted, we only have, we only have three musket balls, which my musket rifle... You know what? Yeah, let's just get rid of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, the vintage rifle. Oh, we'll play around with that in, here in a sec. Uh, we'll get rid of these. Wow, I was hoping they'd sell for a little bit more, but no, well, what are you going to do? I do like that extra luck, but my defenses would go way down. Plus, I like having the police ones. All right, sold. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. But still, sold. Wait, why is my bandana off? Huh? Why is my bandana off? Oh, did I try on something that took it off and I forgot to put it back on? That might be it. I don't know. Oh, well, that's 65. will be nice. There we go. I'll take it. I do, now that that actually just reminded me, I did want to test something. Uh, does this count as goggles? Or, well, glasses, rather. No. <laughs> Alright, back on with the Union Jack bandana. And my welding goggles, because those, for some reason, count as glasses. <laughs> Yay, we no longer have the other problem now. We still have... Uh, lab rat, there it is. Oh no, this is the take more damage in combat. What was the other one then? <laughs> yeah, what was the what was the uh, the railway spine or whatever it was called? I don't know. All right, let's actually take a look at this new gun of ours, the vintage rifle. Finally, something for my three hundred three rounds though. Oh, it's one of these. I've seen a rifle like this before. Uh, the bullet goes up in the top there. Reload from there. Oh, nifty. If you hang around, wouldn't hurt none. We Iron need the sights are very needle-like. You know, I'm going to go back down into the basement. Is there actually a functioning workbench down there that we can actually use now? I don't know. I know there's a chemistry st station in the back. I stop. Uh, oh, oh. Weapon workbench, sweet. All right, let's just take a look at a few things here. So first off, the Trowned Rifle. Yep, you can turn it back into the pistol that it normally would be. <laughs> Nifty, I like that. I mean, it's definitely better as that. What could we get it up to? Oh, we could get up to 19. If I did get up to two gun nut, we can get that up to 27. Hmm, that actually wouldn't be bad. 38 rounds, the tri rounds. Sights and all are normal. Oh, uh, yeah. Nothing really much we can do with this, can it? It more just changes up the aesthetic, sadly. And here, messes with it. I need blacksmith for that. Dang. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to look at? Uh, the vintage rifle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, ruined receiver right now. Uh, with two gun nut, we could get up to 45. With a worn receiver. 
the Queen's Receiver. Gun Nut 4 and Fortune Finder 2. But damn, 150 damage is pretty good. Nice. I mean, still a 3 fire rate. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to get our Gun Nut up to 2 to make some upgrades to things. Yeah, better stock would help a bit. Ooh, okay, okay. So you have some good sights on here, too, that would be beneficial. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. All right, I'm good for now. We'll just definitely need to, in the next two levels, take some gun nut to start upgrading our weapons to do more damage. And no ammunition bench, sadly, down here. Ah, oh, man. I'm never going to find another one of those, am I? <laughs> We finally found one, our first and only one that we've ever seen. And it's now in a destroyed theater. My mother wanted me to be a farmer. Oh well, Can what are you gonna do? Actually, let's check upstairs real quick. There's some other stuff up here. I don't think there were any workbenches though. Yeah, just bedrooms. Yeah, no workbenches. Hmm. That's unfortunate. All right, well, we'll have to find another one of those at some point in the future, I'm sure. But that is actually going to be it for this one today. In the next episode, we'll do one of those guys' quests and see where we uh, can go from there. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this one. And you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.